What is up you plebs, it's Total War Master and yesterday Total War Rome Remastered has launched. Now, I've played it a bit, I'm not so sure about it I have to say, I was really hyped for it but then I kind of got slightly disappointed. Basically today I'm bringing you the good, the bad and the ugly of this uh, Total War Remastered. Now, I would like to say what actually good, the bad and the ugly means. Good basically means that I'm happy with, bad maybe should be like um, I don't particularly like it but I can handle it and ugly is just game breaking for me deal breaking for me I don't like it I really hate the bad the ugly things so hopefully you guys will enjoy this video let me know if you agree with my ideas if you disagree with my ideas of course you know everyone is entitled to their own opinion so yeah if you guys would like this video make sure to join the pet bar meet like and subscribe and commenting down below you can join me in discord you can join me on facebook and yeah let's go thing is how the units look. I have to say that the units looks ab look absolutely fantastic. Uh, they look really, really beautiful. Uh, I like the diversity thing they get in, gave in, so it's like in Medieval 2 and up, and like in you know, the newer games where you actually you know have... They're not just clones between each other. I really like that idea. I mean, to be honest, the, the graphics are absolutely stunning. I, I really like them. My, my computer is sadly lagging. I don't have a good enough computer to play. I'm, this right now is on Ultra so I can showcase the graphics. They look freaking amazing. I have nothing bad to say about the graphics inside the battle. It's it's beautiful. Imperator! General! Prepare for battle! Begin the siege! Over there stand the rebel slaves. They are braver and more worthy than men of their type have any right to be. There is no shame in fear! There is only shame in letting fear rule you! Try not to look scared, and you'll find bravery! Here we go, the sound is absolutely amazing. I, I, I love how they done it. I feel like they remastered the sound real well, they, like, they enhanced the sounds extremely well. I really like it, so I think this is like a very good thing. The sound looks, I mean sounds, absolutely amazing. Now it could be because I'm more kind of leaned towards the uh, recognition of sound because I do study music actually so maybe I do just appreciate it more but for me the sounds are absolutely amazing in this remastered. Now this one might sound a bit weird but number three of the good I would feel like they all the things are pretty much left unchanged. Now there are a few things of course that have not changed. One of them being the campaign map of how the units behave, of where the settlements are, uh, what the units are good against, balancing of units, you know, when you can, when you want to keep them, agents, basically all the things that they've kept, I liked they they kept to be honest. So yeah, I think I, I'll count that as good. Maybe it doesn't really count as a good one, but um, I'll count it as good. So basically, all the things that left unchanged. And the last thing of the good, we have the toggles. I think the toggles are really really cool. Um, they're a cool idea. I like how they do it basically that you have you know ability to use the old stuff for the new stuff I think that's really great um, I would wish that they would add more though um, basically you know the things I will criticize later on if they had a toggle to go re revert to the original ones that would be you know fantastic but nevertheless all these ideas the toggles are amazing I love that they have this in this uh, game so I'm definitely this is probably the best part of the remaster is that you can actually um, well except the graphics the graphics in the battle look really great to be honest but um, these toggles are really a cool idea and a very very good thing so the next thing I want to talk about and the first one of the bad ones are the unit cards now my main problem with them is that they're really really similar with each other if you look at the cavalry units like Okay, these two have armor, so you can kind of separate them. But between Equites, Roman Cavalry, like, it, it's hard to remember which one is which. A Legionary Cavalry and the Roman General over here. Now, of course, in Roman General and um, Roman Armor General are normally represented with a general, yeah, like, a face in the campaign map. But still, they all look really the same. Um, I will later make a comparison of how it is in the original Rome one, where actually it's really hard, really easy to distinguish one from each from another. 
Same goes for the infantry. Now, over here we have Astati, and then we have Prinkubus. Okay, sorry, Triaria. Okay, Triaria, they have this spear kind of different thing, so I can understand them. But then if you take a look at Astati, Prinkubus, early legionary cohort, and we have legionary cohort, and we have Praetorians and Urbans. It's kind of hard to distinguish between each other. Now, okay, these two, these two have the the thing on their helmets. I'm not sure how they're called, but the other ones, I don't know. They just don't feel that different on the unit cards. Um, same goes for the archers. Like, look at those. The, uh, the only big thing I can see difference is the helmet for the art for the two archer units, which I am really not happy with. In the original, it was really easy to see. Okay, also the skirt thingy. Um, these ones have in the original it was really easy to see okay who are Roman archers and who are archer auxilia um, Of course, you know it's the same for the other Roman factions and singles for like the spikemen um, now I must say that maybe pikemen were not also as um, Well represented in the original they kind of all look the same in some cases uh, Let's add also the Greeks <coughs> um, Over here uh, so maybe the pikemen also don't look that well different. I think maybe for the Greece, Greek ones they look well enough, um, but mostly for the Roman factions, their units just look the same. Looking out through these units, like it's really, really easy to distinguish from from another one. Let's just take a look at the horses uh, from from cavalry. Aquites and Praetorian cavalry have a black horse. Yes, but. Everything else looks completely the same. It's it's really easy to see these guys are equities, these guys are Praetorian Cavalry. Okay, so let's say these two have the same horse, kind of, you know, same, pretty much the same color. But you always know that these guys with the bigger shields are always the better unit. So it's like you have basically um, four different cavalry units because the um, Roman general and the Roman armored general they will always be on the campaign map, they will always be um, with 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 the general uh, picture, so it's easier to see that. So basically, distinguishing from Praetorian Cavalry, Legionary Cavalry, Roman Cavalry, and Equites is extremely easy. Going then to the infantry, I would agree that perhaps Praetorian Cohort and Uber Urban Cohort are a bit hard to distinguish. That is true. but. If I then look at the other ones, it's really easy. If you look at Hastati and Prinkopes, they're really easy. Not only because how they look, but also how they're positioned. Like Hastati are kind of look, looking towards you, while the Prinkopes are looking to, you know, if you look at them, to the left. Then we have early legionary cohort looking, looking to the right, legionary cohort looking to the left. Same for these two. It's, even though they look pretty much the same, what distinguishes them is that they look on the other sides, and I always kind of um, remember that the the armored ones, so the armored ones in my head being the Praetorian Urban Horde, the right one is better, while these two look maybe the same, kind of, you know, they have some differences, but um, I kind of remembered, okay, that the early Legionary Cohort look to the right, and Legionary Cohort look to the left. Now. Of course, it's kind of just the opposite from the armored ones, in my head armored ones, saying urban and Praetorian. But still, nevertheless, I think they're really easy to see. Looking then at Roman archers and archer auxilia. This is such a big difference. <clears throat> in the remastered one, they, it's really hard to see which one is who. Over here, I can immediately see this one has no armor, this one was armor. It's really easy, I think. Um, now, going to these ones, uh, for example, Greek states. I feel like they're represented quite good. Um, I think my main problem was with the likes of Seleucids and Macedon in the early, uh, the, in the original game. These guys do kind of look really the same, except for the militia hoplites. So these three look really similar. Same for this here. So talking about that, maybe remastered got the, these two factions better. But for the Romans one and for the Greeks one, I think it's much worse. The second bad thing about Rome Remastered is how the campaign map looks. I am really not, I don't know, it just looks a bit too cartoony, even though like, I'll, I'll set the settings of campaign vibrancy to zero. 
still. I don't like how it looks. It, the greens are too bright. And the settlements are just not popping out. I feel like they're just kind of too much in the background. And when I would want... Okay, let's say, okay, I want the settlements to pop out more. And I put this to 100. They still don't pop out because the background is too bright. So I, I would like maybe a toggle that swaps armies um, and settlements to be more bright while the background looks more dark. That's what I like. Like, imagine, like, look at this. It's so hard to see the flag, actually. Because in the sea, it's really hard to see it. I don't like that. I want the armies to pop out and the background to be more boring, basically. I just don't want the background to be popping out. I want the armies to pop out and the background just to be there. The third bad thing is the comp sorry, is the battle user interface. Now, I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Um, I don't like these things above them. They're just distracting. Um, I don't particularly like these um, these things that show where the projectile range is. Um, I don't like that this is kind of so small. I think I can make it actually bigger, but it's not just in a way it's small. It's um, like let me try to get to gameplay. Uh, or is it in graphics maybe? UI size. Here we go. <clears throat> Even if I make it 120, I I just don't like it. I prefer the old layout um, because over here, like everything is so far apart. In the old one, everything was like here, it was like in a circle, it was really close to each other. Over here, it's like oh, if you want to go from here to there, it's like such a long distance. Um, yeah, you know, I know I can do that, which is kind of a neat thing. But you know, I can just press Control All, which I do Control A, which I do all the time. Um, so I don't really know the use of that battle uh, so button. Um, this one is kind of okay, I guess. But I just prefer like double clicking, like doing this. I don't need this button if I can just press this. If I can just right click on them, I don't know why I would need that button to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm not particularly happy with the user interface in battles. It's not awful, but I certainly don't like it. And now we are at the ugly. Of course, the worst part of the games. My problem is the UI. I do not like it. I do not like it one bit. Let's say, for example, we actually get one extra click to get to um, recruit stuff. In the original room, you click on the settlement, uh, and then you basically here have the layout of the thing: army, town, agents, and was it navy? I think. And anyways, you can right-click on the town, and then you can have over here you can buy, you can construct things. So you right-click on the army, and you can recruit things. Over here, base depends on what you have. If you have army selected before. You have this, and okay, it's the same on our number of clicks. But if you want to build something, you have to click this. Then you have to click this, and then I don't know why don't we just have over here um, instantly buildings that we can build. We have to then click this, and then only we're able to do that. I do not know why that. I maybe it's, I don't know. If it's possible to kind of pin it so it always shows up. I'm not sure if I, that is the case. I I am sorry. Um, the map seems kind of hard to see. I don't know why, but like these borders, like I just have to like look at them really hard to actually see where things are. Um, agents, are, this is I guess all right. I don't mind it. Um, Navy, okay, that's fine. Armies, that's kind of all right. Um, but I don't know why can't we see how many units they have ever. Of course, yeah, we see five, three, three, four. But I want to see the number of men also. That'd be kind of neat. Um, we see towns like this, which is kind of good, I suppose. Like, I don't know, can you, like, if I'm here and right click on this, yeah, it doesn't show up like a building slots. Oh, sorry, the available buildings to build. I don't know, it just feels clumsy. Like, okay, we have the faction summary, we have the Senate, um, the current standings, um, we have finances, which is okay, I guess. But I don't know, everything just feels clumsy and feels like it's made for a mobile game. And I really don't like it. I kinda am 
happy with this part. It kind of looks good, to be honest, but... Like, this? I just... The, the UI, like, this also. Like, you need to click first this. And let's say, like, like um, let's actually end the turn. So we will get some uh, notifications. Greetings. Okay. Uh, thanks. Let's get through this. Okay, so now we have notifications. So I can't just right click this. I know, like, reports. Okay, if I don't want to see it, I can't just right. I first have to click on it. And then, like, my first instinct was to right click this, like, in the original to get rid of it. But you have to actually take a look at it. Or you, ha you, you, you can also click. Um, um, mark all messages as red or delete all messages but there's no way that I would like if I wanted to let's say three of the uh, notifications I want to see and three I want to just delete you can't go like this and then delete one message let's let's say over here I can't just delete this message like this I have to go through this which is just makes it more annoying I guess that you actually have to click on it like, like why can't we just right click on it like in the original which was really simple I don't know it just gives another layer of complications that we really don't need that you have to click on the exact button to actually get it I don't know do you um, I don't like like it took me actually some time to see like why is the money and the date up here and all the other information is down here it's kind of I don't know it's a bit odd to me um, this map, as I said, I don't like it. I already mentioned that I don't particularly like the color scheme. I don't know. It just, I don't vibe with it. I don't know what else to say. Another missing feature that I really, 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 really don't like that it's missing. Now, it might seem very insignificant for some people, but what I always like to do is like to right click somewhere to see actually who owns like the region. Like in the original, if you right clicked like this and you held, it's actually set who owns the region. Now, maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense why I would want to do that, but for example, if you don't properly see um, a border, you were able to right click and actually see who owns that settlement. Um, so, I don't know. That's just a missing feature that I really liked to use. Now, maybe some people never used it, maybe that's why it was removed. I really liked it, so maybe that's just a personal, personal thing, but yeah. I really miss that feature. Okay, this is actually the feature that I hate the most. The camera controls. Maybe not controls, but just like the camera in general. Now, right now, I'm using um, the, 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 the remastered camera, which I don't like, but it's the only viable one. Now, if I switch... Okay, first, I can actually see, like, if you want to ever do something in a corner. Now, I had a battle. I wanted to do a, pl a playthrough with Seleucids. I, I had a like, really outnumbered battle, so what I wanted to do is to set up my spikes in in the corner. Now, okay, corner camping, uh, blah, 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 it's fucking noob stuff. I mean, I was like outnumbered 1 to fucking 15. I wanted to do that. So, let's say I want to corner camp, like over here, right? Let's say I have only a few units. I want to corner camp over here, and then have my cavalry set up over there for to like get it from behind. Um, you cannot actually see your troops Like if if you want to like if you want to see enemies coming and you want to see your troops like I, I can't because like look at this You cannot move outside the red border. Why the fuck can we not do that? like What's this I can't scroll out more like I Can do this to see my army, but then I don't see them from coming or if I do this and my army is so fucking far away to see them come now if I swap to um, is it, I think, gameplay settings to classic camera, which I did at first. Look at this, what the fuck. It's so buggy, like, look at this bug. Like, okay, if, like, what, I have to first do this. Like, and, like, look, look at this, it's, it's, again, so hard to see. You can't, there's no, like, the camera should be tilted in a way that basically... We see, like, imagine, like, lifting your head up. That should be how the camera, camera, what the camera should do. Oh, this is the same for corner, though. You can't move into the corner with the camera. This is the best you can do. Um, the good thing is, it is actually better with moving into the camera with the classic one because you can actually at least see some of the troops. 
I think in the original you were able to go even further, but like it, now it's the same problem. Okay, I have these guys in the corner, but I cannot see their army because the, the camera is so weirdly tilted. It should tilt like backwards so I can have a broader sight. Now I do not know. I was trying to look in the settings. I didn't find if it's possible to to change that. I then I guess this one doesn't count. But um, like this is like I want it to have a broader like. Imagine this this is like a camera stand. What should happen is that we actually move the the, the first part of the camera up and the last and the back camera down so we can have like more of a broader look at everything. The good th thing about the classic camera is that it does kind of fix this thing that you can actually move outside the red borders, but still it's not ideal because you cannot see the enemies. Like, okay, if they come here then yeah, but like I would want like this is what should be we be able to do a bit more. Like, I think camera tilt should be something like this, but zoomed out, right? But when you zoom out, it also tilts in this weird way, where you actually have a really small um, part of where you actually see. So this is what I would like. So that we actually have this kind of this view or this view somewhere around here, but actually just zoomed out, which is like stupid. Why can't we like? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's in the setting. I was looking for the settings for like 15 minutes. I didn't find it. Maybe I'm dumb, but I don't know. The camera settings are just weird. Another thing is that we actually don't have like I would have to go and uh, if I go to controls, um, this is like classic Total War, right? But why the fuck is D not guard mode? What the fuck is run? Okay, run is actually R, never mind. But like D is not guard mode. Alt plus 4 for guard mode. Like, are you fucking serious? Um, force melee. Alt plus 3. What? I mean, what else do we have? This special ability. Alt plus 1. Now, of course, you can remap those to actually have, you know, the, the original ones, but why the fuck do we need that? If it was good in the like, why? Just why? Like skirmish mode, swap melee. Well, we're skirmish mode, anyways. Here it is. Let's see what we have. it's old plus three. What? Wait, is this in skirmish mode? No, this is skirmish mode, right? No, this is fire as well. Uh, I don't even know where the fuck is skirmish mode. Is this skirmish mode? I don't know. It's just odd. The controls and the camera controls and battles are horrific. And just for comparison, look at this. Look at how much you see. Look at how much you see. Like, if I want to go in the corner, first thing is that I can actually do this. Actually, let's just to be sure. Let's actually move over here. Look at how much I can see everything. Like, I can actually move outside and still see a shit ton of everything. Move over here. I can see where the high ground is. I think it's like in the remaster. It's really hard to see where the high ground is as well. Over here, it's really easy. You can see all this landscape. You can see so far away. But in the remastered one, nope, you cannot. And this is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have to say that I am not too happy with what turned out from this. Now, I think the modding community is going to do a very good job with probably fixing quite a few of these things I would say um, at least I hope so but the base game looking at it I am sorry but I was so hyped for this but I do not like it I really if I had to do it out of 10 I would give it I don't know a 4 I like some of the things as I said we had the good things not many of them I like the graphics I like the battles how they work like the battles by itself if I unthink of the camera look really good um, the visuals and battles are extremely well done, they, they look gorgeous, but the gameplay is much worse just because of the camera settings, of the, I don't know, like the controls are a bit weird, um, it's just, what else, basically like the map visuals are odd, battle UI is odd, unit cards are hard to recognize, I don't know, it's not as good as it was, original was better if you ask me. But maybe mods will change this. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, th that's basically what I think about this. Anyways, I hope you guys, as I said, enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be 
doing some content from Road to War Remastered. I, even though I don't particularly like it, I think I'll do a playthrough. It's uh, uh, Maybe it grows onto me. I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll change some things and that'll be then it will be like really good. I don't know. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to join the play bar with liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. Uh, you can join me on Discord. You can join me on Facebook. You can support me on Patreon if you will. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. More hot seating videos coming in soon. And until the next time, as always, fuck off.